death. It was a game my sister and I would play sometimes, flirting with that thin line between life and death that so vividly exists, wanting desperately to feel what it's like to see the light of heaven. But to be able to come back and explain that feeling. Megan took it too far one day. She lost control and slipped over that line. I come up onto the roof when I need to get away and think about Megan. Dave, you come down here right now! Well, I'm coming up then! Not without a ladder, you not! I am sick of this! Stop being so immature and get down here now! Fine, don't come down. Spend the night out there for all I care. What's this? What's what? This, this hole in the wall. Did you do that? I didn't. I didn't I do it! It's been there for ages. Have Let you me go! Running around ruining my house. I didn't! My parents blame me for Megan's death, especially my dad. Whenever someone dies, someone else has to be blamed to make it feel real. Jade! To help everyone else accept that someone has died. Accidents are never anyone's fault. Not mine, not Megan's. But somehow, I still feel guilty for her death. I'm going to be tied up and perform a Houdini escape before a train comes and hits me. And no matter how much danger she seems to be in, I can't help her. Like death. It was Megan's idea. She organised it all. Yet my parents blame me. They don't realise that every time someone says my name, Jane! I can only hear Megan crying out for my help. <laughs>